Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, on the first full day of autumn, it felt more like summer. Temperature topped out at 80 degrees this afternoon, and that'll be the trend over the next several days, next several afternoons, upper 70s to around 80. Gorgeous evening. Skies are clear looking at Newport, Newport Pell Bridge off to the right. We'll keep clear dry conditions this evening and right on through the overnight. We're still well into the 60s, but eventually cooling to the 50s during the overnight. But Wow, look at these numbers. And considering how you know chilly it's been the last roughly five to seven days, upper 70s to 80 in Providence, 81 in uh, Taunton, even upper 70s along the coast, there wasn't much of a sea breeze. Similar temps for tomorrow. We're thinking you know, 78, 79 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. It's in the low to mid 60s in most areas right now. Newport 67, Providence uh, 65, but uh, Taunton's a little cooler at uh, 57 degrees and New Bedford at uh, 59, so getting a head start. Satellite photo shows clear skies. Now, now on the um, lower left hand side of your TV set, you do see a deck of clouds. These are thin clouds, so the sun is able to shine through them, but they'll be on the increase tomorrow afternoon. So we start off clear. We get this deck of clouds tomorrow afternoon. Causes the sun to be a little hazy or fuzzy, but you know, strong enough to be warming the atmosphere up nicely. What's left of Teddy, which was in the Atlantic yesterday off Cape Cod, is now moving through the Canadian Maritimes as an uh, extra tropical cyclone, no longer a hurricane. Speaking of the tropics, this is tropical moisture from once a uh, tropical storm beta out towards Texas. Would be nice to get some of this rain. We need it, but most of it's going to be guided out to sea near the mid-Atlantic well to our south, so that is a miss, unfortunately. We're getting real close. I'm going to walk you through it hour by hour, starting off this evening and overnight. You see the temperatures dropping down. I mean, mid-50s by around 6 o'clock in the morning. Watch the time bar right up in here. Mostly sunny during the morning. Then we become partly sunny by afternoon, but look at the temperatures early in the mid-afternoon. It's already in the upper 70s, kind of a hazy sunshine cloud mixture. Really a gorgeous day. It's dry and comfortable. Six o'clock in the evening, uh, low to mid 70s, around 74. And then later tomorrow night at 11 o'clock, I mean, temperature still pretty nice in the lower 60s under mainly clear sky. So hour by hour forecast tomorrow morning starts off a little cool at uh, sunrise, sunrise at 642, 11 o'clock in the morning already at 73 and climbing hazy sun and clouds tomorrow afternoon, a comfortable day looking at temperatures reaching about 78 degrees, mid 70s by five o'clock. Beaches, the high surf advisory has expired, though the rip current risk is still up there a little bit moderate risk. Hazy sun and clouds, air temperature 75, water temp coming in in the mid 60s. Bay forecast, good visibility, partly sunny skies during the morning. Notice the water's temp water temperatures dropping a little bit. West wind turning uh, locally onshore southwest at 5 to 10 knots. Seven day forecast, warming trend now through the weekend. Look at these daytime highs topping out in the mid to upper 70s, nights in the upper 50s to low 60s. You see the percentages of precipitation there pretty low until we get to early next week. And even that's not a lot. Uh, a couple of showers on Monday and then again on Wednesday with daytime highs in the lower to middle 70s. But a little mini stretch of summer. It's not, you know, it's not too cold. It's not too hot. It's just right. And the temperatures overnight pretty comfortable too. Percentages yeah. of precipitation. Say that 10 times <laughs> fast. No, thanks. I'll leave that up to you. Right. Thanks, Tony. Now